The home of the Rappahannock Indian tribe is deep in the rural landscape of Indian Neck, Virginia, northeast of Richmond. It's a place so quiet, you can actually hear the leaves rustle through the trees and the water coursing down a local stream. But now, that tranquility has given way to a steady, increasingly fervent call for recognition by the federal government. As taxpaying residents of Virginia, the Rappahannock Indians have been waging this battle since 1999. It's our very birthright. Uh, you were born a certain way to a certain family with a certain lineage. Would you want to have that taken away from you? The Rappahannock and other Native American tribes have gained recognition from the state, but not the federal government, and that's meant the tribes have been torn from key parts of their own history. The Rappahannock tribe and five others in the state of Virginia want the Smithsonian to return the remains of their ancestors, along with other historic tribal artifacts. But the Smithsonian is under no obligation to do so, or even reveal what's in its collection unless the tribes are federally recognized. The Smithsonian acknowledges it has Native American remains from every state in the country. 1,800 sets of remains are from Virginia. The Rappahannock tribe wants them removed from their storage in government warehouses in the D.C. suburbs and brought to their homeland for a proper burial in this Rappahannock Indian Cemetery where they can be revered and honored for the sacrifices that they've made for their people. And we can't do that if we don't have federal recognition. Virginia's Indians have endured a turbulent history. I grew up in the house with tribal leadership my entire life. I ate, slept, and breathed tribal affairs. Now led by a modern chief, the first woman to head the Rappahannock since 1705, they are determined to reclaim what is theirs and add to the photographs and historic artifacts in their modest collection. In Indian Neck, Virginia, Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9.